So first I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Leslie Melendez and although I hold many titles in various ways, my most important title is mother. Um, I am also a sister, an aunt, a friend, and a supporter. Um, so to me, the most important part of seeing all of these wonderful faces this evening is knowing that my daughter has a community who supports her. The purpose of us being here today is that we're celebrating the second annual raising of our freedom flag to celebrate and support the LGBTQ community as a community, to join together in unity across all lines of, race, of difference, race, ethnicity, gender identity, sexual orientation, and religion, to overcome violence and overcome fear in the name of love and acceptance. Tonight we also remember the victims of the shooting of the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, as we will never forget the 49 lives that were taken as they celebrated their pride. We will offer a prayer, support, and solidarity to all of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer members of this community and beyond. At this time, we would like to open the ceremony with the song Change, which will be sung by Charlize Garcia, a member of Movement City. Charlize? called um, change. When I was young, I would look in the mirror. Didn't know it then, but now it couldn't be clearer. That I remember being filled with such wonder. Before learning that the world can be harsher Thank you so much. Another round of applause for Charlize, ladies and gentlemen.
I'd like to take this time now to call up to the podium my mayor, your mayor, our mayor, Mayor Dan Rivera. Uh, I want to be brief because I want to make sure we, we, uh, we beat the rain, right? Uh, but first of all, so I know that um, I got an opportunity to speak and I know that um, Senator Italian will get an opportunity to speak. I think it's important to note uh, that we have other people here. Some of them are running for office who are here in support of this event. Uh, friend Alan Acosta is running for city council at large. Woo! And Rich Russell right there, one of our favorite veterans, running for Rich city council at large. And I think I see June Black for Congresswoman's office, the Congresswoman Saunders' office with us. Woo! The DC continues to um, so This is an honor for me to be here with you again to uh, not only um, honor the, the men and women from the Pulse nightclub um, who lost their lives, but also to uh, reiterate, if it, no one knew it before, that Lawrence is a safe space uh, for, not only for immigrants, uh, of women and children uh, of all races, but definitely for the LGBTQ community. Uh, and, and as mayor, we will ensure that that is the case uh, from every corner in the, in the community. We will not stand for hate, but we will not stand for violence, uh, not against any one of us, regardless of who we are and regardless of who you want to love. Um, I have a, a, a proclamation. I'm trying to run. Want to do it? Somebody come over here. Rainbow Alliance. Rainbow Alliance, a recognition of your value, dedication, and commitment to the LBG community. Thank you very much. Stand around. <laughs> Thank you very much. Leslie, have the mic back. We're going to bring this indoors, please. If you could all join us in City Hall, we're ready to go. We're going to restart and take it from the mayor presenting um, his proclamation. So, is it Elizabeth? Can you come get this? Also, oh, the whole Alianza, the Rainbow Alianza. Anybody put that together? Come on over. Fernanda, Ted. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Get closer. Get closer. No, no, not me. There you go. Absolutely. This is a certificate of recognition presented to the Rainbow Alianza in recognition of your value, dedication, and commitment to the LGBTQ community. Your devotion to promoting pride, acceptance, and inclusion is invaluable to the city of Lawrence and the community we serve. Thank you for making Lawrence better. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mayor Rivera. I'd like to next, next introduce our Senator, Senator Barbara Latalia. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that this is the second annual because I know last year it was really a very sad occasion where we were honoring the victims of the Pulse nightclub and that was important, and it brought a lot of people together. But I think going forward, from here forward, the work that's being done in the city, really we want to have everyone feel proud of who they are, um, you know, have everyone feel that this is a welcoming city, and uh, a place for everyone to flourish and feel welcome. Um, I was proud back in 2004 to be one of those voters, one of those votes uh, to maintain uh, equal marriage back when I was in the House, and that was, that took us three years to work on and to get done, and we were the first in the nation, and it was highly controversial. Uh, there were a lot of um, people that were most unhappy about it, but it was the right thing to do, and so I've been working on these issues back over a decade now, and uh, last year we were able to do the transgender bill, and that, we need to Remember is yeah. and that has potential to be that 
does potentially be taken back away from people at the ballot in a year from now, in November 2018. So we need to be grateful for the work, thankful to the people that have, you know, many hands uh, all throughout the communities in Massachusetts, but be aware that just basic fundamental human rights are still under attack and still need to be fought for to be protected and preserved. So um, I just want to say, you know, that I'm really glad to be here. I'm glad that with all the flag raisings and all of the pride that goes into the many flag raisings here in Lawrence, it's critically important that the rainbow flag be raised. And so I'm really happy to have played my little part in that history, um, and I'm proud of all of you. And I would also like to ask the Rainbow Alianza to come forward so that we can give you a Senate citation. And uh, about a month ago, we had an activist forum, and I think we brought a few people together that didn't know of each other's existence that are sort of helping build this core of support within the Alianza. So I'm glad to have been uh, able to bring that opportunity to people. So this says, Commonwealth of Massachusetts State Senate official citation. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the Rainbow Alianza in recognition of the 2017 Lawrence Pride flag raising ceremony and Pulse Memorial and your community to nurturing and strengthening the LGBTQA community. And be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends its best wishes for continued success that the citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to in a copy transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. This is signed by the Senate President, Stan Rosenberg, who is the first openly gay uh, Senate President uh, in the history of Massachusetts. Uh, also signed by the Clerk of the Senate, William F. Welch, and myself, State Senator Barbara Latalian. Congratulations to all of you for making Lawrence a better place to live. Thank you. So at this moment, if we had been outside, we would have been raising the flag with the mayor and Senator Latalian doing that for us. So if you guys want to raise the flag, that would be awesome. So I've just been told that as soon as we're done with the program, we are going to go back outside because it has stopped raining, and we will do the flag raising at that point. Up next, I would like to ask the organizing members, who are all here, um, of the newly formed LGBTQA Alliance in Lawrence to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the Rainbow Alianza. today. Um, it's, a, it's a very important day for us um, as, a, as a committee, as an alliance, as a community. So we want to thank you all. Um, as Senator Barra uh, mentioned a few months ago, we had all participated in a community uh, forum, a public forum that uh, Senator Barbara Latine had organized about, let's get organized in the Merrimack Valley. It was about connecting community activists together and in hopes to make powerful changes um, within our community. And that is where the Rainbow Alianza was formed. Um, as individuals, we had already been active in the community through conversations and discussions and day-to-day -day, um, interactions. But we realized that there was a true need for um, resources and support for the LGBTQ community. 
something that was truly lacking here in the city of Lawrence. So we all recognized that and, and had a discussion and said, we need to do something. So first off, we want to th uh, th say thank you to Senator Italian Because of that, um, the Rainbow Alianza was formed. And through um, the support of Mayor Dan Rivera, who was very much supportive and back in this entire committee and um, this movement that we wanted to make sure that there were resources and support and activities, we, we were able to do that here in the city of Lawrence. And it's, although the second annual, we know that there's gonna be so many more. Something that we were truly understanding and uh, concerned about. For myself, I just wanna talk about um, the day that my partner and I, my then partner and I, had adopted our son over seven years ago. And one of the things that we were concerned about was the bullying, harassment, and isolation. And we knew then that the lack of resources and ways to share with our community the love and acceptance and gift that we were giving, not only to our child, but to our, ourselves. We wanted to make sure that everyone was able to embrace that. Excuse me, I get emotional. But, and we knew then that the, with the lack of support, we knew that we needed to make a change. Fast forward seven years as I stand with this amazing group, and I am so blessed and so amazed at the, the motivation, the partnership, the, the dedication and commitment that we have all had to make sure that this comes to fruition. And tonight, we're making another step forward to building the community full of love and respect for the city of Lawrence and within the community of Lawrence. So that one day, there's never gonna be a question as to who's accepted, who's not accepted. It's an everyday moment. It's just every day we're all loving and embracing each other. And I'm so thankful to be part of a community that has involved and have everyone here connecting and really committing themselves to this organization and to the Rainbow Alianza to, as we move forward. So I want to thank you all. Thank you so much, um, Senator Italian. Thank you so much, Mayor Rivera, for your support. Um, and thank you, June Black and uh, Congresswoman Nikki Sanders, who's not here today, but I thank you. And for our city council, I want to thank you all for all your support um, as we move forward. Thank you, Laura. The members would like to uh, would, would like to have the members introduce themselves. So, yeah, my apologies. My name is Laura Elefantes, and I'm, I actually work for um, the Senior Center with Martha Velez, um, and I'm a community member as well. Yes, hello. Um, my name is Tad Bickford, and I'm a, one of the advisors to the McFagley Youth Group. McFagley stands for the Merrimack Valley Alliance of Gay and Lesbian Youth. Uh, we were founded eight years ago this month um, to serve the youth of the Merrimack Valley, and we've served over 400 youth who have come to our doors from as far away as Salisbury in, in Gloucester, uh, to Tewksbury, Dracut, Lowell, and of course Lawrence and the Andovers. So, um, thank you. Thank you, Todd. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Delgado, and I am a community member, resident here of Lawrence, um, but I'm also part of Crescent Moon Healing, and Crescent Moon Healing um, started actually about two years ago, and we are a holistic healing collective and social justice collective, where we um, believe that healing through holistic, natural ways um, goes hand in hand with social justice. You can't have healing without social justice, so um, that's our mission here. I'm very happy to be part of this trio with Dr. Reverend Julie Brown, uh, Julie Todd, oh my god, where did that come from? And, uh, and Kate Rosemary, who was not here this evening, but um, we're very happy to be here. This is our second annual as well, um, putting this event together. So it's really happy to be part of this committee and see this movement happening within our city because it's very needed. Open mic? Oh yes, I'll talk about that in a few, but okay. yes. And we host the LGBT open mic. Who's been here to the open mic? Yes, yeah, I see yeah. some hands. All right, we're going to be having another one on the 29th. I'll talk about that shortly. <laughs> Hi, yeah. my name is Fernanda Lopez and I'm yeah. here as part of La House, the Lawrence Arts House. We are a community art space studio and we are committed to create safe spaces for youth and for all the citizens of Lawrence uh, to come and heal together using the arts. 
And I will take the opportunity to explain why at the end of the LGBTQ we added the A, not only stands for the Alianza and the Alliance, alliances that we are creating, but also we really want to open this to all the allies. So it, I think that it's in the, in, the, in the power of us, the allies, to create safety and, and to validate and to nurture our community. So that's a way in which we can step in as members and we can step from a place of ownership and care and love and support. So we are very thankful to have you all and I also want to introduce uh, my other partners. <laughs> Um, I'm Jenna Kilman, and I'm also a member of Lawrence Arts House. Um, and I feel so blessed to be able to be here. This is my first time being a part of the flag raising ceremony here in Lawrence. Um, and it's wonderful to get to see how many allies and people are here participating and standing up for this community and for everybody, everybody's rights here. Hi, I'm uh, Issa Van Dyke. I'm also part of the Lawrence Arts House, and um, we truly believe in, in free expression, and I think that's why we're all here today. So I'm very proud and blessed to be here as well. So thank you all. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Anna Elzer. Um, um, I'm here representing Movement City and Lawrence Community Works. So if there are people here from Movement City, could you make some noise? And lovers of Movement City. Um, Movement City is an after-school creative arts program that has transformed my life, and not to mention all the young people, fabulous young people that I get to work with. So I'm here representing them, but this is going to be young people coming on board for the Rainbow Alianza, um, and I'm grateful to see that move forward. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's an amazing group, and we look forward to lots of amazing things coming from them. At this point, we would like to just take a moment to remember Orlando, remember the Pulse victims. They were out celebrating. They were out enjoying. They were out celebrating their lives and the lives of others. And a misguided and confused individual ended their lives that evening. At this point, I'd like to call Mayor Rivera and Senator Italian, Elizabeth, Fernanda, and Laura. So we are going to uh, read the names of the victims. Stanley Almodovar the third, 23 years old. Amanda Alvear, 25 years old. Oscar A. Azarena Montero, 26 years old. Rodolfo Ayala Ayala, 33 years old. Antonio Devin Brown, 29 years old. Daryl Roman Burt II, 29 years old. Angel L. Candelario Padre, 28 years old. Juan Chavez Martinez, 25 years old. Luis Daniel Conde, 39 years old. Corey James Canal, 21 years old. Tevin Eugene Crosby, 25 years old. Bianca Diedra Drayton, 32 years old. Simon Adrian Carrillo Fernandez, 31 years old. Leroy Valentin Fernandez, 25 years old. Mercedes Marisol Flores, 26 years old. Peter O. Gonzalez Cruz, 22 years old. Juan Ramon Guerrero, 22 years old. Paul Terrell Henry, 41 years old. Frank Hernandez, 27 years old. Miguel Angel Amarato, 30 years old. Javier Jorge Reyes, 40 years old. Jason Benjamin Josephat, 19 years old. Eddie Jamaljoy Justice, 30 years old. 
Anthony Luis Larendo Disla, 25 years old. Christopher Andrew Leonel, 32 years old. Alejandro Barrios Martinez, 21 years old. Brenda Lee Marquez McCool, 49 years old. Gilberto Ramon Silva Menendez, 25 years old. Kimberly Morris, 37 years old. Akira Munet Murai, 18 years old. Luis Omar Ocasio Capo, 20 years old. Gerardo A. Ortiz Jimenez, 25 years old. Eric Ivan Ortiz Rivera, 36 years old. Joel Ray Paniagua, 32 years old. Jean Carlos Mendez Perez, 35 years old. Enrique L. Rios Jr., 25 years old. Jean C. Nieves Rodriguez, 27 years old. Xavier Emmanuel Serrano Rosado, 35 years old. Christopher Joseph Santeris, 24 years old. Gilmary Rodriguez Sullivan, 24 years old. Edward Sotomayor Jr., 34 years old. Shane Evan Tomlinson, 33 years old. Martin Benitez Torres, 33 years old. Jonathan Antonio Camaro Vega, 24 years old. Juan P. Rivera. Velasquez, 37 years old. Luis Vilma, 22 years old. Frankie Jimmy De Jesus Velasquez, 50 years old. Luis Danielle Wilson Leon, 37 years old. Gerald Arthur, Arthur Wright, 31 years old. Omar Mateen, 29 years old. In honor of the Pulse victims, we ask you to join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Reverend Julie Todd from Crescent Moon Healing to lead us in prayer. Hello, everyone. My name is Julie Todd, and I am a United Methodist clergy person. Also, as Elizabeth Delgado mentioned, I am a part of Crescent Moon Healing, which is a social justice healing collective here in the city of Lawrence where I also live. Um, I was, had the honor of speaking at the vigil last year and I just want to repeat something that I said last year as the person who has been identified as sort of the clergy person uh, to speak this evening. Is that unfortunately, unfortunately, and I imagine most of you who are here would agree, our, our religious traditions have be, are, are form the foundation of some of the hatred that there is in this community towards LGBTQ people and all people who do not conform to, to gender in any kind of way. And I am, um, I repent in dust and ashes that my own church, the United Methodist Church, is one of those denominations uh, that continues to maintain hatred against LGBTQ folks, and um, I do everything in, in my power to stand against that hatred and violence. And what I want to say to you is that if you are part of any faith community whatsoever who holds that kind of view, that, you, that we are responsible for one another in standing against and speaking against such hatred, homosexuality is not sin. Same-gender relationships are not an abomination. 
non-gender conforming gender identity is not unnatural. In my tradition, I say that God created us in love and for love as we are. And so speak against that stuff when you hear it, people, especially if you're an ally and you're in far less danger of putting yourself at jeopardy and risk for violence. If you're an ally and a person of faith, you need to speak against that kind of language, speech, in your communities, and I'm asking you to do so tonight. It's a step of action that we can take to make this community safer. So, what I would like us to do is I'm going to kind of lead us into prayer through a little bit more of a, just a way of grounding ourselves in love for ourselves and for one another. And then as we do that, then I will more lead us into what we consider more of a typical prayer. All right? So I'm going to ask you to do is, and hopefully you're at least that near someone in this community, right? So I just want you to close your eyes for a minute and put your, one of your hands over your, over your heart. I'm just going to ask you to take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. I'm just trying to really be here in this moment with this, this community of people who are gathered here again. So just take a breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time. Let's ground ourselves and our bodies in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I want you to just feel your hand on your heart or your hands. You can put both hands there. Maybe you can feel your heart beating. And we all know that this place of our heart, the center of our chest, is the place from which our love emanates. And I just want you to feel and know for a minute. I want you to feel a light in the center of your chest. You can picture that light. And know that light that's created in order for you to be born into the light. Just to take a big deep breath into that space, that beautiful space of light. And if you're comfortable, I want you to say after me, I was created in love. I was created for love. I want you to then take your hands and if the person next to you is comfortable, just lay a hand. You can hold their hand maybe or just lay it on their shoulder or the back, some place that feels comfortable to them. And just take that love that you just felt in your heart and I want you to just pass it to the person that you're touching. And just feel that love. Think about that love and that light that you know is at the center of your being, just traveling around this circle of great residence, Lawrence, and this community, this surrounding community. Just feel that love. And if you feel comfortable, repeat after me. We were created for love. We were created for love. We are love. Now I want you to imagine yourself sending this love and this light into the city of Lawrence. We need so much love in this city. Just imagine the beauty and the love just in these few people gathered here this evening emanate out, outside of the city building and spilling onto the common and throughout the city. Imagine that light and love reverberating throughout the Merrimack Valley and the state and sending our love and this very moment we are creating a vibration by which we can heal and by which we are healing.
And I invite you to join me now in prayer, whatever makes you comfortable. You can keep holding on to that person next to you, or you can bow your head, or you can open your eyes, you can look to the sky. As we direct ourselves to the source that is greater of, than all of us, whatever that source is without or within. And we just ask you, O oh, divine source of all creation, all that is, thank you for this day. Thank you for the life that you put in us, that we're able to breathe today. That we're able to face this day, whatever it held for good or for bad, we thank you, O oh, creator of life and of love, for this chance to be together and remind ourselves that we were created in love and for love. We thank you we have this opportunity to remember the victims of the Pulse shooting. Help us to live in this city and in our lives and all the places where we live, move, and have our being, that such things may never happen. That we may provide safe, brave, beautiful, courageous spaces for all people to be themselves. And particularly for our lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex folks, all non-conforming people to be able to be who they are and express who they are with joy and freedom and without fear of retaliation and hatred. We ask you above all to help us be those people who stand for love and against hate, who do not fail in our courage, who do not fail in our respect, who do not fail in our love for ourselves, our kindred, for anyone who crosses our paths each day. We know that we do fail, and we just ask you to help us from this moment forward in being the people who we were created to be, created in love and for love. We ask you all of this in the name of this community gathered today and in the name of all that is holy and true. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Julie. In closing, I would like to call Meek Perez to come join me up front. Hi, Meek. Meek is going to sing for us a timeless classic, and I think one of my favorites, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Woo! I hope you guys enjoy.
Absolutely beautiful, a beautiful rendition of the song. How about one more applause for me? I bet you went to At this point, I would um, like to thank everyone who has been a part of this, everyone who has been a supporter, an ally, and to this amazing group of people who are going to continue this work day in and day out with the help of all of us. The Rainbow Alianza. Thank you. Can we give it up for Leslie Melendez for being an amazing master of ceremonies? Oh, he's such a great supporter. Yes. So really quickly, I know we're wrapping up, but I just want to take a couple announcements and closing remarks. So right at the table over here, we have a resource table where you guys can get these papers, they have community resources and upcoming events that we, the Rainbow Alianza, will be hosting for the summer. We have an open mic coming up on June 29th, next Thursday. We have um, LGBTQ8 Arts Support Group by La House. And we also have a community forum meeting um, hosted by Freedom Massachusetts coming up in July as well. So lots of good stuff happening this summer for the LGBTQ community. And I also wanted to just take a moment to thank Thea Shapiro. Um, Thea is here. Do, are your lotus flowers outside or are they here? Okay, well, so Thea Shapiro, I just wanted to acknowledge her because she actually made this last year when the Pulse um, horrible tragedy happened, she actually ended up making a lotus flower for every single victim that was taken. So she had a display here, but unfortunately the rain and the wind took it away. But I just want to thank you, Thea, for being here second year as well. And I also just want to take an opportunity to um, invite you all to El Taller right now. Um, El Taller, as you all know, here in Essex, she is a very big supporter of LGBTQ community. They are one of our safe spaces here in Lawrence, where we have our open mic nights. So we're going to go over there and do a little wine toast. So if you guys want to join us, you're more than welcome to actually celebrate Pride and continue the celebration. Thank you so much. Oh, and the flag raising. We're going to go flag raising really quickly, and then we're done. Thank you. Yes. Hi. We next year we want to have our Pride Parade. Yes. So please stay tuned, stay connected. It's going to be Lauren's first Pride Parade next year. Please on your uh, join the email list so that we can all come together and have our first Pride Walk in the city of Lawrence because we deserve it. Yes, we do.